Hi, welcome to Dupi Animation, and it's a brand new year. Although I'm not fully back, I just want to say, Blessed New Year to you all. And from wherever you are watching me from, thank you for visiting my channel. And please, kindly like, subscribe, and comment. So today, we are just going to design a simple logo intro. It can be for a production house or any style in general, okay? All right, let's start. So let me open After Effects. Let me create a new composition. Let's create a new composition. Uh, it's 1920 by 1080. Let me name this one logo. Okay. Logo. So we have a logo composition. Let me duplicate it. Then rename it picture one. Then duplicate it again. Control D. Then rename the third one main. Okay. Now let's open the main and the picture. Okay. So first the logo. All right. Let's bring I have some materials here to use. So let me just copy these materials. I'll just use this for the tutorial. Okay. So let me drop the logo in here. Let me scale it down. Okay. So this size is enough, or oh, it depends on you when you are creating yours, the size that you want it to be, okay? Come to effects and presets and type fill, okay? And apply it, double click to apply it to it, make it white. I will take it off later on, okay? All right, now let's come to picture one. Let's click and drag the logo comb inside picture one. Then let's bring the first image underneath the logo. Okay, so the logo come to the mode, then change it to maybe stencil alpha. Okay, then you lock it. All right, then you select the image, then press S, then scale it down. Okay, you scale it down, then position the image to where maybe you want the eyes to show or position it at a good point, all right? So after that, just duplicate the picture comb several times, depending on the number of image that you want to display before the logo comes in, all right? So let me duplicate it a couple of times. So Control D to duplicate. All right, so now let's open picture two, picture three, picture four, picture picture five, picture six, and picture seven. So picture two, let's just replace the image. Hold the Alt key, click and drag to replace the image there. Then bring it down to position it to where you want it. Picture three, select the image, then hold the Alt key, click and drag to replace it. Let me scale this one a bit up. Okay, picture four, select the image, hold the Alt key, then click and drag to replace it and bring this one down a bit. Picture five, select the image, hold the Alt key, click and drag to replace it. Let me scale this one up a bit. Okay. Now picture five, uh, picture six, select the image, hold the Alt key to replace this one too. Let me scale it up also. Okay. All right, so the final picture, which is picture seven, hold the Alt key as well, click and drag, then replace it. Okay, so this is enough. Now let's come to the main, all right? Let's bring in picture one. Okay, so picture one, let me make it 3D. Click on the toggle switches here to bring the 3D draft, then click in to highlight it. So press P on the keyboard, Okay, now let me drag this things in. So from the zero to one seconds, okay, this is where it's going to end. So let me set an ending key. And then the beginning, let's go. Use the Z position to move it out, okay, to move it out. So just like this, move it. Or you can just turn on the azels here, the Z azels here. 
they move it out. Okay. All right. So after that, but first, let's see what we have first before we, you see. So I don't want it to end where it is. I want it to go in a bit. So I'll bring the timeline to the something like a bit here. Then move the Z in a bit. Okay. So this is enough. Let me clear this one. Select the two keys. Then easy ease them. Then come to the graph editor. Then pull one side in a bit. Okay. So let's see. Okay. So this is enough. All right. So I'll cut it here. When it comes in here, I'll cut it here somewhere here. Okay. Let me split it there. Come to the menu bar. Edit. Then split layer. Okay. Then let me clear it. All right. So from here, when it reaches here, I want it to fade in. So I'll press T for the opacity, then set a key here, then move the timeline a bit forward, then go zero. Zero. So we have something like this. Let me bring it in a bit. Let me see. Yeah, let's go in a bit more. Okay, so this is enough. So after that, just duplicate this one. Control D. This one comes in. Let me see. 10 frames. All right. So all that I have to do is select these two. Then duplicate them. Then move them up. Okay. 10 frames again, then, so the 20 frames. Select all of them again, then duplicate, Control D to duplicate. Then move all of them to something like another 10 frame. So this is enough, okay? So you have something like this. You see, the image is coming, all right? Okay, now let's replace the pictures. So picture one is this, select the second one, hold the Alt key, then replace it with picture two. Picture three, hold the Alt key, then replace this one too. Picture four, hold the Alt key, then replace this one too. Picture five, hold the Alt key, then replace this one too. Picture six, hold the Alt key, then replace this one too. Then picture seven, hold the Alt key, then replace this one too, okay? So the final picture, which is this one, we are going to use the logo, okay? So hold the Alt key, then replace it with the logo, all right? So for that one, we will take the opacity out, okay? We take the opacity out of it. Okay, so let me drag it to the end a bit and bring this one in. So five seconds is okay. All right. So now let's see what we have first. Cool, simple. A simple logo intro. You see how simple it is? All right, so now let's do a, f a, a little bit of touches to this, okay? So what I'm going to do is, so I'll duplicate the first one, the picture one, control D, okay? Then take away the opacity, press T, then take the opacity out, then stretch it, okay? So let me separate this one alone, all right? Then... Let me change the name to rename it to Shine. Okay. So now come to Effects and Presets and type Shine. That's Trap Code Shine. Uh, looks like I don't have it in. Let me see. I don't think I have it here. 
Damn it. So when we see the animation I did, you see that whilst the pictures are coming, there is a, a glow or shine going on at the background. Okay, that is it here that I'm trying to do. That is the shine that I've made here. Okay, and where I am, I'm not at home at the moment. I've traveled somewhere and uh, I don't have the plugin. When you come here, it's trap code shine. The plugin is trap code shine. And I don't have the shine here in my disk. I forgot to install it. So please forgive me. All right. It's not difficult. Just apply. When you have the trap code shine, just apply it and it will do that. Okay. So I will leave that particular part out. All right. And maybe later on, if any of you find it challenging, you will still want me to do it. I will install the plugin, then go over again. Okay. So let me take it out. All right. So now let's stick to this one for now. So this is what we have. Okay. Simple as that. Then the logo lands. Okay. So when it lands, what I'm going to do is let me, uh, where is it? The logo. Okay. So the logo, I'll take the fill out. So it will be left with the actual logo. Now let's come to the main. So this is our main. All right. So this is our main. So I'll duplicate the main, control D. Okay. Then come to effects and type fill. Then apply fill to the second one. All right. So the first one, the fill. Let's make it white. Okay. So it will come in like this one, but this will fade in. So the top one, press T for the opacity, then set a key here, then move the timeline forward, then go zero. So it will be something like this. Okay. All right, simple. So from here, all that you have to do is just apply an effect. All that you have to do is just apply an effect on this one called light sweep, CC light sweep. Okay, here is it. Then double click to apply it. You see that? Then you come here, the width, just increase it. Okay, if you want to increase the intensity too, you can increase it, okay, right? If you want to soften it, you can soften it. You see that? But let me keep it at uh, sharp. That's how I like it. Let me increase the intensity a bit, all right? So from here, just press E for effects. Then inside it, direction. Remove it here, you set a key, okay? You set a key, then come here, then you move it here, come here, then you move it, come here, then you move it. You see how simple it is? So at the end of the day, you have something like this. You see? Uh, let me stretch this a bit. Hold the Alt key, then stretch it. Then you can easy ease them, the key points. Easy ease them. So let's see. So this one, you have to fade this one to in. The one underneath it. So from here to here, just opacity. Then somewhere here, then go zero. Okay, so let's see. So this is our final work. Okay, it's nothing difficult. You see? All right, so guys, if you're interested in the project file, you let me know. I'll post it onto the Telegram channel for you to download. Okay, and if you want me to go over it, although it's simple, but maybe for the beginners, they might want me to go over it. So if you want me to go over it, you can hit me up. I'll be happy to, okay? All right, guys, that's it. 
and see you next time. Please kindly like, subscribe, and comment.